Keeping it local this morning, many Americans don't realize that soccer is the most popular sport in the world. Yeah, but it is gaining interest here in the U.S., which is why a local travel team is hosting a summer camp for kids to sharpen up their skills. And Local 5's Calvin Lewis is live in Howard with more on what players can expect. Calvin. Yeah, Shelly, Nate, good morning. I gotta say, I'm super excited for this morning. I mean, I used to play soccer as a kid growing up all throughout high school as well, so this is very much in familiar territory for me. Uh, we're here, we're part of the United Hurricanes Soccer Club. We've got kids, some of the youth kids uh, playing uh, over at the field over there this morning. But joining us this morning, we've got Andrew Jepson here, one of the uh, instructors of the camp. Uh, so tell us, you know, a, a little bit about the camp, some of the activities that you guys have got the kids going through. Yeah, so the camp is it's a lot of individual effort. Uh, the kids learn ball mastery, so forth. Uh, familiar with the ball, getting comfortable on the ball. Um, it's mainly based around the best number 10s. You know, we kind of go with like Lionel Messi, you know, a Pele, so forth. Teach them some fun moves um, that these professional players excel at. So just kind of giving them a history too is who good best players were, Madonna, so forth like that, you know, or Maradona. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. So uh, we, we've been watching the kids all, all morning long. I'm suited up. We've got a course right over here. If you want to tell us a little bit about what this is and uh, kind of guide us through here, just tell, tell me what to do. <laughs> okay, so it's, uh, it's just a pretty basic dribbling uh, drill we do with the younger kids. Uh, okay. We want to teach the correct technique. Um, one is just control dribbling as he's going through the cones using the inside outside of the foot. As he's got the open space, then just dribbling with speed, changing your direction, changing your speed, so forth. And then coming back, just getting a lot of repetitions on the ball, getting comfortable on the ball, so forth. I gotta say, this is a lot harder than, than it actually looks. I'm just gonna run through it once there. But um, yeah, as you were saying, it's all about you know touch and technique and sort of ball control, right? Which are kind of important things for you know, younger kids to learn at, at such an early age, yep. right? Yep. And uh, I mean, yeah, the biggest thing is a lot of repetition. You know, if you want to do anything good, you know, even in life in general, you got to do it multiple times. You can't just do it once and master it. Yeah. <laughs> so, and yeah, like I said, the biggest thing is the correct technique. Let's get rid of the bad habits right now, especially at a younger age, because when you get older, it's hard to break those bad habits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure thing. So we've got a few more drills uh, that we want to show you guys towards the end of the hour, so you guys will want to stay tuned to that. I think I think Drew had a, a certain shout out that he wanted to give to someone in the studio, isn't that right? Yep, back to you, cuz. <laughs> See you, Shelly. <laughs>